folks, SD here, and I'll be honest, I'm barely looking at my screen at the moment. I thought this would be a really nifty way to start, and uh, it's just, it's making me nauseous, so uh, let's get off. That was the biggest mistake in my life. Welcome to my creative plot in uh, the creative side of Togethercraft. Yay! Also, welcome to Geeka. I did see that you followed. Uh, it doesn't give off a sound alert, so half the time I don't even notice when those things happen. But here we are in my creative plot. There's not a whole lot here because I don't normally use it. I am. I had a pretty good birthday, Frisco. Uh, the real celebration comes on Sunday, though, because my family does things on the weekends. For my actual birthday, just had a little lunch with Mumsy and some chicken parm for dinner. But today... Today we are having fun and creative with Light Matica, and really this is all I've got. You'll, you'll notice that most of the things that I have in my creative world are redstone, because, well, uh, I, yeah, yeah, that's a insane spaghetti monster with the stuff. Oh, did I turn that off? No, I did not turn that off. People are just real quiet. People are just suddenly real quiet in chat. Let me go through my entire plot here. Hmm. I should make a haste helmet. Something with speed on it. There we go. Okay. All right. We've loaded the whole plot. Yes, I have a whole lot of creative plot area. But here we are in my creative plot. We're going to do Light Matica today. For those who have not really used Light Matica or have used Light Matica and just have some things they can't figure out, I have a little list of topics to cover from based off of questions that people had in the Discord. And uh, I'll, I'll probably just start from the top. It is Light Matica 101, that is what I have put on my chat title and uh, I said I would be doing. So, uh, first things first, to turn on and off your rendering. The rendering is when you can see it versus when you can't see it. You want to hold R M and then push R, and that toggles your rendering on. In my case, there's a great big chunk of render over there, so every time I load it up or not, uh, it kind of does a little panic and freaks out. But, yeah. Hey, Racked! Let's see, we got this, we got this, we got, um, let me turn my... Options, music, sounds, friendly creatures off. Interesting note, minecarts are considered a friendly creature. So, uh, let's see. This is this is a special dropper mechanism so that you can, you know, you throw something up above it and an item drops in here and then it sets off a trigger and it spits another item out over here. Uh, let me see, I got some... Do the inventory. We'll put this box down. Oh, I'll explain what that was in a hot second. Okay, so we'll put some snowballs in here. And uh, you know what? We'll just toss one in there. Just like that! Voila! You can put an item filter on this bottom. And Ducky, Ducky, are, are we doing this today? Are we doing this today? Hello, Duck. But uh, you can put an item filter here. This is a mechanism from Tango Tech's original Decked Out. I don't know if it's the same if he's using the same feature in the Decked Out 2, because I have not pulled down the world for Decked Out 2 and stolen all of that redstone because um, I'm I'm feeling like I can handle the redstone I've got for one and two maybe might be too much. Uh, this is some audio. Do, do I have note blocks turned off too? There we go. I must not have hit it properly. No one do that. Alright. Those will be noises. Anyhow, this is not what you guys are here to see. It's probably, I mean, it's a very functional, and once you get an item filter in, it's, you know, it's, it's, it, it's very functional. It works. Why change it if it's working? Um, but yeah. All right. So, Light Matica. When you first load Light Matica, here, here's, here's a interesting note. You hit M to bring it up. Ta-da! This is your Light Matica GUI. Lovely, jubbly, everything you need. 
Um, now, my load schematics is we're going to choose one of these at some point. There's a whole lot of them to choose from. Yeah, and it works, so why... there? It, if it can't be improved upon, no point in improving it, right? There might, there might be, I can think of some reasons why you would have something else with it, but I'm not going to go too into it, because we're not here to talk about redstone. We're here to talk about Lightmatica. All right. So basically, whenever you do any Lightmatica, it's because you want a lovely schematic. So we're going to pick a schematic. Uh, let's just go with... I'm trying to think of something that might be small because you know what we'll do cheese ready we'll load cheese ready there we go okay so here we are we have we have loaded cheese ready into the world this is I a schematic I found that I thought was really really cute and I built it for potato and fruit but here we are cheese ready um, you know what? I'm going to hide the other schematics. Here's something that if you want to not have a schematic up, but you don't want to remove it entirely, and you obviously want another schematic to be showing, you go to your uh, schematic placements, and you just find your schematic, or if you're like me, you have like a million of them, and you turn it off. And then it should disappear. Uh, creative dead. There we go. All right, turned off. And I'll just I'll, I'm gonna turn off everything just to make it easier on me. And I'll figure all that out later. D don't. No judging. No judging. Hey, there, Douglas. Okay. All right. So we have just the ratty schematic showing. Easy peasy. Well, what happens? If I put it in the wrong place, what if what what if like I were up here when I went to load it, right? What if I were up here uh, when I went to load it? And I loaded it and it wound up up here. Let me change a couple things. There we go. All right. And oh no, now I've got it in the wrong place. No, what did I do? This is bad. This is wrong. You could go into your loaded schematics configure and then hit move to player and I'll automatically move it or here let's put it back up like a hundred there we go you can just lower it down this is good for fine-tuning I'm just gonna move to player because that's faster yeah and you fine-tune it like that there is a way to move it using the tool but I'm not familiar with that method. Now, for me, my tool is an arrow, which because of my texture packs are called shot and powder, but as you can see in the, in the tool tip down at the bottom, uh, second from the bottom, it says arrow. And that gives me, see in the bottom corner, it says uh, cheese ratty, convert schematic. That's the name of my schematic. Uh, regions, regions modified. It gives the origin point, which is the position that the, uh, this, this sucker, this sucker, yeah, this sucker is. And it tells you what mode you're in. When you first start, you'll be in mode one, which is, I'm not sure what that mode is. I think that's for selecting. Yeah, you start out with a stick, but I, I changed it to an arrow. Um, mode two is for placement. And if you are don't have a schematic going, uh, you wouldn't have like this is for filling. You can fill areas. You can replace blocks. Like all the all the extra stuff. Uh, this one paste schematic in world is you can't use it here. It'll crash. It'll crash you. But you can just paste the entire schematic all at once if you are in your own creative world. And I'll show the tool, the uh, button for that, or the command for that. Um, this is grid paste command. I'm not sure what that does. This is for moving. This is for deleting. And this is for editing. Editing is the one that, how did I change it to an arrow? Good question. What you do is you go to, uh, you open your schematic by hitting M, or your, uh, your menu by hitting M. Go to configuration menu. You want generic I believe 
look for tool and then you just come here and you type in whatever you want. And in my click case it was an arrow. Part of my world. Yes, indeed. I am I am very glad that this is making folks folks happy. But uh, yeah, that's how you change it. You can also disable the tool by, uh, here, let me change that so I can get off of it. If you're on the tool and you don't want, like, like you do have a stick or you've got, uh, you change it to an axe for some reason, you change it to something and you need to use that item, hitting M and T will disable the item. So, like, if you're fine using a stick all the time, you don't want to change your stick for something else, but it's just those rare occasions when you need to use uh, your, your teleportation wand, just M and T to toggle it on and off. And then this one is for when you need to edit your schematic. This is the only one that once you've done it, if you scroll off, you're still stuck in the edit schematic mode. Yeah, no, being able to change the tool is, is huge, is huge, but yeah, so, so that is that, uh, let is, let, all things I'm learning now, I'm trying to, I'm like trying to pay attention to chat, I might make you guys, if you have a question, you want me to address it, but you can't chat in Twitch chat, to just like, uh, do like an at SD in, in the Minecraft chat. But yeah, so here we have our schematic. Our schematic is up nice and neat. Let me see. That was how to load it. Uh, we'll, we'll go into to hotkeys real quick, because I had some questions about hotkeys. Um, delete selection, delete the currently selected box. Uh, easy place, we don't use easy place in survival on our server. So when you first load up, I think it's already disabled, but uh, actually it is enabled because see how it says reset? The first thing you'll want to do when you load up to make sure that you're not doing something by mistake is just go in and disable easy place because we don't use easy place on Togethercraft. We don't. That is naughty, naughty, naughty. Uh, let me see if there's something else in here that might be fixed chest mirror, rail rotation. Uh, I have pick block avoid tools. That means that uh, pick block is a really neat function. I'll you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, look, tool items all the way down here at the bottom. Um, here, here's a very, very important one. Custom schematic base directory. If you have a folder you save your schematics to, and it's not your main folder, this is where you're going to go and change it. If you, but the problem is if you change it, you also have to pay attention to where you're saving your edits to. Like, I, I'm, I'm having an issue with that one myself, I'm trying to figure out. Info overlays, here's the stuff that shows you things down here. Uh, we have block info lines enabled. I don't think I've ever changed anything in here. Stop me if, if there's something you see that you want me to uh, discuss. Here's a very, very important one. When you're working with water, if you have it just right out of the box, like that, go right under the box, underwater, you will not be able to visually see your blocks. You'll be able to see that there's meant to be another block there, but you won't be able to see your blocks. And all of your, all the water will turn pink. What you want to do is go to ignore existing fluids here under visuals and enable that. And now suddenly you can build underwater all you want. You'll be able to see everything underwater. No problem. Easy peasy. Uh, what else do I have? Ghost block alpha. Oh, oh, ghost block is so that you can, they turned kind of transparent. 
I've got it set just a little bit transparent so I can still see what the black is, but I can also kind of see underneath them. Uh, render blocks is translucent. Yeah. Yeah, for the ghost block thing. Colors. If you're colorblind or if you're working with a schematic that's primarily blue and you want it to be a different color, like the schematic itself that you want it to be a different color, you can just come in here and change them. Hotkeys. This is the fun one. This is where everyone uh, constantly asks me questions about. <clears throat> now, nudging selection, that's for... I want to make a schematic of something. So I've got my stick in my hand. I've got it set to one. That is what one is for. It's for area selection. And I go, bam. Well, I've just put the first corner down of my schematic. And the second corner is like way over there because I'm a weirdo. And then I go, bam. And there's the second corner. And you can see it's got a block here, right? Well, now that I've got... Uh, this set, I can, there we go, I can use my right and left arrows to move that in and out. I'm not sure, I haven't set anything else, up and down isn't working. Um, let's see, hotkeys. Yeah, left and right to nudge selection negative, nudge selection positive. That's not really, yeah, that's not really helpful. It's not really helpful at all. Um, the other thing you do is you go in here to the area editor and then move this up and down till it encompasses everything you want. And then at that point you can save it. And that's, that's how you make a schematic of an existing thing. My recommendation is to try to get it as close to the build as possible. Like, I could just take a whole big chunk. I could take, you know, everything underneath uh, the schematic and everything else, but then you wind up with, like, this layer of stuff that you're probably not going to be needing. Like, here with uh, the Ratty, it's got this layer of cobblestone. Well, I, I don't need that layer of cobblestone. That layer of cobblestone is not going to be where I'm actually placing stuff, right? So that's just a pointless layer of cobblestone. If I had been saving the schematic, I would have moved the schematic up one more block so that it would have been just the bill. Does that make sense? I feel like that makes a little bit of sense. Oh, another important thing to remember is that uh, buttons do stick out. So if I were to save the schematic as it is right now, I'd lose all these buttons. It would not show the buttons. So do kind of like take a beep around your schematic before you save it. Make sure you didn't accidentally trim something because that could be a problem later. Uh, what else were we looking at? Okay, that was the... Oop. Alright. Uh, someone had asked me about layer modes. There's been multiple questions about layer modes. Now, right now we have it set to... It's, it's all layers. Just shows the entire schematic all at once. Um, you can change your layer options by going to render layers and doing like a single layer where you show one layer at a time. Uh, there was a question about can I change it to a different axis because you know like I'm working with stairs a stair map and I want to see like one specific set of stairs you can this is where you do it you change your axis and I'm going to set here there we go and then you can do like that Now I can see the z-axis, and then I change it to x, set here, hmm, where am I on x? Let's try, let's try it now. I'm terrible with numbers, there we go, okay. Alright, so then, then you can change it that way. So that is a way to do it. That's for the finer tuned things. Now you can see like a, you know, slice of your schematic at a time. So that can be handy. I usually do it to Y. I want to know how to replace blocks of other types of blocks. I tried following the steps, but I keep messing it up. Good question. Okay. All right. Let's do the special blocks. We're going to go down. 
and that actually pinged me in my ear. So that was that's a fantastic thing. Okay, let's say this cobblestone. I want to get rid of this cobblestone. I want to replace it all with the grass. There's a little blob of grass back there. I want to replace it all with grass. Here's what you need to do. First things first, you do have to go to your hotkeys and you have to find the replace option. Ah, you are back. Yay. Congratulations for being back. Uh, replace. So you got replace all, replace block, which means just one particular block. Uh, I'm not sure about replace direction because I don't really, like, I'm not an expert in Lightmatica. I do what I need to do, and I learned what I need to learn to be able to do that. No, not sarcasm. I'm happy to have you back. I'm always happy to have folks back. I like, I like to know that I'm talking to actual people, and, you know, you guys aren't stuck watching a, 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 an ad. Okay, so I have my hotkey set to end. It will be defaulted to none. Set it to whatever's most helpful for you. Do keep in mind that if you have other mods, there may be conflicts with whatever key you choose. Like in this case, if I tried to set it to uh, nine, it would actually, no, it doesn't tell me that's a bad idea. Um, I'll set it to period. It doesn't tell me that's a bad idea either. Comma. No, it's, I don't know why it's, not tell me it's a bad idea for any of those but you just be careful because you you may set it to something that another mod is using and then either you'll go to use it for lightmatica and it won't work you'll go to use it for the other mod and it won't work or you'll go to use it for one of the two and it'll do it for both i was having problems with the, the replay mod uh every time i would hit a particular key to do something for a different mod the replay mod would do things in the background along with the mod that was supposed to be doing its job so it was, it was a thing. Anyhow, uh, so you change it to something. I have it set to the end button on my keyboard because that's just the easiest thing for me. And once you have it set, you take your tool. You change your tool to 9 for editing the schematic because this is what we are doing. We are editing the schematic. You go in creative, presumably, or if you're not in creative, you'll do it in real, real game. And you take the block that you want to replace it with so that you're holding the block. Then you get up to where you want to do it. Now make sure your, your schematic is set to all if you're doing it by layers. Oops. Ooh. Render layers set here. There we go. Okay, if you're doing it by layers, it'll wind up just doing this layer. So you'll want to make sure you're setting it to all. I'll show you the hotkeys to be able to do that fast, like I just did it. Um, but yeah, make sure you're doing it for all, unless you only want the blocks on your particular layer to be done. Um, then you hold the key for the changes. The way it's showing here in the face is very important. Uh, it's less important doing it with the grass block than it would be if we were doing with a directional item because this will tell the game how you're putting the item down. So like we're doing the grass block and then you just right click and bam, the entire thing changes just like that. Everything has changed. Voila, ta-da. Now let's try with a directional block. Hello, I got a visitor. Uh, we'll do a log, logs are easy. So we do a log We'll hit end and I place like that and it places it like I put them all down, right? Right? Now if I did like that, it placed them like I put them all to the side. So that is a very important thing if you have directional items. Twerking in my in my schematic. Is there a way to turn off block rotation errors? There is a way to turn off block rotation errors. You go to configuration menu. You want uh, colors, actually visuals. Uh, error placement, I think, maybe. Mm. It's one of it's one of these like error marker connections 
uh, marker side to turn it like this. Okay, let's let's do a test. We're, I'm gonna put this here. Oh, you know what happened there? I forgot that we're still on edit mode. So what the game is trying to do is it's trying to put these in to every time I right click, right? Left click will just delete them out. Be real careful because you might accidentally delete out an item in your schematic itself. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, because I'm sure this is also a question, if you want to delete all of a particular item, there is another hotkey for that. Uh, schematic, remove, remove, delete. Can I type? Nope. Oh, edit break all. Pull the delete, right click. All of them are gone. Wabow! Wabow! And, hey! Thank you for the subscribe. Gina Raya just Gina subscribed. Jones. Oh! Very important, something I completely forgot. Um, now, I'm not asking for you guys to subscribe to me. This is not a hit up for subscriptions. But today and through June, June 15th, I think is the end date. Anytime you watch a Minecrafter for my, more than 15 minutes and they have drops enabled, if you are you know actively on Twitch, logged in and everything else, check your drops inventory your items inventory on twitch you will get a free cape um if you subscribe to someone with drops enabled you'll get a free glitch mask i i don't even remember what that item is because i barely paid it any attention because i'm tr not begging people for subscriptions but since you subscribed i'm mentioning you get a free item so keep an eye out for that it'll show up at some point uh while I'm here, since I've just deleted a big portion of my, uh, oh no, I've deleted so much of my build. Oh no, what am I going to do? It's such a, such a mess. <laughs> it's kind of cool looking at all the torches just like hanging out there. Um, if you go to your schematic, loaded schematics, here where it says, uh, this is the schematic we're playing with. It's got an exclamation point on it because it's been modified. Prime, Prime, be ready before the end. Yeah. The, the moment I saw that, Ducky, my first thought was, oh, and Rocket just renewed Ducky's subscription. Um, but it's been modified. If I hit reload, it'll all come back. If I want to save my changes, I have to save from there. I would need to go in and save to file. But uh, reloading just brings it all back if you do it by accident. Labby, did you get the uh, how to change it? Why are you being weird now? Oh, okay. Have to rewatch to do it on your creative. Okay, okay. That's fine. Um, so here we have an error. You can just, there, there's multiple ways I think to do it. Uh, visuals, let's see. Ignore existing render error. Maybe if I turn that off? Nope, that did not do it. I'm gonna put that back on just to uh, render placement of closing. Huh, weird. Hotkeys, render layers, colors. If I do schematic, extra missing wrong block, uh, wrong state. Can I, I guess I can't set it to zero. There's got to be a way to do it. It makes sense that there would be a way to do it. The only way I can think of off the top of my head right now 
is if I go into, someone had asked about material lists, so we're going to cover material lists real quick and the schematic verifier real quick just to help folks understand what I'm doing. When you've got a build and you need to know what all is in your build, in your schematic, like you've built something, you don't know what you need to collect to be able to build it, you go into the schematic and you can do this from uh, here from the Lotus schematics too. Like if you don't have it placed down yet, but you want to see what you need for it, you uh, do material list. Uh, when you directly load non lightmatica schematics, this is a warning you'll get sometimes if a schematic is not actually, like if it's a schematic that was made with a different program. And all it's telling you is that if you load a schematic from a different program, if you don't save it as a lightmatica schematic in here before you log out, when you come back, the schematic will be unloaded. It is only loaded for as long as you are signed in. As soon as you're gone, it unloads any schematic that is not a Lightmatica schematic. So, um, all you would do here is, here's the material list. We'll go back to material list. I'll get back to the converted stuff later. Uh, you got your material list. You got all your different things. It tells you here what you have. If this were an existing build and I was halfway done with it and I pulled up the material list, it would show me the total items in the entire build. It will show me what is not put down yet. And then here, it'll show me what I have in my inventory. So it'll tell me if I'm missing, uh, like for example, we'll do this material list. You go to material list. Uh, I'm going to refresh real quick. Um, cobblestone. It needs 528 cobblestone. It's missing 524 because I put down four of them and I currently have one available, one in my inventory. If I had a shulker that was full of cobblestone and this number was higher than this number, this would show up in green. And if everything was uh, put down, the, then it'll be a zero shown in green, right? Uh, while I'm thinking about it, very important, or else you might end up doing what I was doing just now, which is putting extra blocks in my schematic, change back out of edit schematic, and now I can put down everything I could possibly want. Okay. Uh, here's a nifty thing that I did not find out until very recently for some reason. Center click on your mouse changes to, if you have it in your inventory or if you're in creative, whatever you're looking at. If you are in survival and you do that and you don't have it in your inventory, nothing will pop into your hand. But if you are in, in uh, creative and you have it, that item will pop into your hand. So let's see, we're going to put, it's on this other side. There we go. All right, because I wanted to put a, I want to put a door down. There we go. Now, another fun thing is directional does matter. You do kind of have to learn how to do the directional stuff. But let's go back and do the material list again. And we're going to refresh it. Ignore that part for the moment. And now see, it's turned green. And it tells me, very helpfully, I've got more in my inventory. So once all of these are green, then that, that, that's that. Now, you have a big old build. You have a big old build. Your build is all big and full, and it's all filled out. And you go, oh, crap. I think I may have missed a block, or I think I may have put the wrong block somewhere. That is what the schematic verifier is for. You go to schematic verifier, now here it says wrong blocks, wrong states, extra blocks, missing blocks. This is where I normally do the ignore part. You hit start verification, because it'll do the process. It looks at everything. Here it tells me I have a cobblestone 
it's a grass block. Middle click hates food. Even if you have blocks on your hot bar, it replaces your food for it. You can tell it to, a, well, can you tell it to ignore? I know you can tell it to ignore food, and you can tell it to ignore certain slots. I'll have to experiment to see if the combination will be, um, like if I put, if, if I tell it to ignore a slot and there's food in that slot, will it still ignore the slot? I'll have to test that. I will show you that as soon as I get done with, uh, this, but like nothing is in a wrong state. If I went here and I broke that door and put that door down and now it's showing orange cause that's the wrong state. And I go back to uh, schematic verifier and I uh, start the verification. Well, now it's telling me, uh, and the reason why it's telling me there's two is because it's doing top and bottom. For some reason, it registers as two separate entities, even though you can't actually only put down half a door. Um, but it's telling me the, the door, the door is wrong. It's saying, hey, dude, the door's wrong. And you're missing all these blocks. So, say, I want to see where's the wrong thing that I, my, I missed. Where's the wrong block? And uh, where's the singular block of glass that I've forgotten to put in, right? See how it is now a bright red that I can see all the way through the schematic? This will allow me to narrow in exactly where the item is wrong and fix it. I can narrow in exactly where the item is wrong and fix it. And the highlight goes away. And then, oh, for some reason, the glass block was over here. Apparently they're using it as a marker for the uh, boundaries of lining up the schematic. But if I chose, uh, now I can tell it not to worry about that. Um, if I chose these cobblestone stairs, you can see they lit up. Now I'd be able to go through and find exactly where the missing things are, go into where they were meant to be, and fix them. Now what if, let, let's, let's test this, because I'm not entirely sure that this answers the question about uh, ignoring uh, something. What if, for example, I decided I didn't care about all this red wool? And I just wanted to ignore it. If I hit ignore, nah, nah, that didn't do, that didn't do anything. It would ignore it if for some reason I had done like a bunch of these. And see how now they're turning red as I do it. Maybe if I put, put a couple more on top just to screw it up, to show more on the schematic. You also notice lower right hand corner it's giving me specific coordinates where everything is at so if for some reason you can't actually see exactly where the the missing item is like if it were so huge you weren't able to see that you could go directly to that coordinate uh let's go back to the schematic uh i don't care that i've got a bunch of uh grass blocks so I'm going to ignore them. I don't care if um, I've got wrong glass blocks here. I'm going to ignore those too. No, now they no longer highlight like right like that. I'm going to ignore that I put a uh, dirt where there's meant to be cobble. Which I didn't actually do. So to answer the earlier question... There is probably a way to get it to ignore uh, what it's showing. Hmm. Uh, position? Nope. Let's see. What is it called? State. Okay. We're going to go to state. State. Nope. Info overlays. State. Uh, says info. Nope. Visuals. Uh, I might ignore the dog in the background. Okay. Schematic overlay type wrong state. If I go to 
false, what happens then? I need to put a door in the wrong seat. It doesn't tell me. There we go. We found it out. You go to configuration. It's under visuals. State. It's schematic overlay. Type wrong state. And you set it to false and it won't ever complain that you've got something in the wrong position. There we go. See, see, I'm the type of person that's like, if I don't know the answer, and if I don't know for a fact that it's not something that can be done, I will hunt it. I will find it. All right, so uh, we did material lists. We did showing missing blocks. We showed how to replace blocks. Um, key binds and layer modes. Okay. I had a question for if it is possible to key bind to switch between all and single layer. And the answer to that is kind of, sort of. Uh, we're lucky in that when going through the render layers, all and single layer are right next to each other. So you can key bind to scroll through the different layer typing options like layers, single layer, layer range, where you could like tell it, I just want to see between uh, here and here. Um, you got all below, which I find really helpful when I'm working from the bottom up. You do the first layer on the bottom, then you can move up, because then if you have all below set and you go to place blocks somewhere and you've somehow forgotten a section, you can see the stuff underneath that you forgot. Um, you got all above, which I guess could work in reverse, although building in survival really isn't conducive to building from the up or down. Uh, and then you get back to all. Now, when I said that you kind of sort of can do it, you can set your hotkeys and you can go uh, layer mode next and layer mode previous. I have mine set up to do M page up and M page down to scroll through the different layer modes. So I can hold the M key and page up to do single layer, layer range, all below, all above, back to all, and then back the other way around. So in a way, the hotkey would be uh, if I were doing all, hotkey would be up to get to single layer and page down to get to, to all. And you can set those hotkeys to whatever you want. This is just what is good for me. Um, oh, that, it's actually, it's built in. That is an automatic built in thing. So yeah, there you go. Um, page up and page down is handy. Uh, we'll go to single layer because you can go from one layer to the next without having to go all the way through that other stuff, page up and page down. And this was something I didn't know until recently either. Because I would, I would go all the way into the schematic, changing this, changing that. You know, I'd go to here, and then I'd go to schematic placements, and I'd go to, to, to configure. And then I'd, you know, move things from here, and then I'd, you know, check my material list from here, or do my schematic verifier from here. Oh, we're going to lock that. Here's another interesting thing. Um, if you don't want to accidentally move your schematic somehow, because there are some hotkeys that if you haven't specifically gone on and disabled them, you could move your schematic by accident. Lock it, and now nothing will move it short of, actually, even that. Even hitting one of those, it tells me it's locked and can't be modified. For anyone, PSA, for anyone who's been having an issue with their schematic unloading anytime they've left the game, here's why. The way Togethercraft is set up, our lobby, our creative world, our main world, those are all considered parts of the same world. And Lightmatica doesn't understand that they're like different areas. So, for example, if I'm in Creative World and I'm at X1158, Y63, 
uh, Z1046. And then I switch from here over to survival. It's going to overwrite survival. No, it'll, it'll overwrite with whatever I was last at. So if I were here and I was doing stuff and then I went over to survival, it basically would lose what I had done before. And the only way to get it to save your instance, okay, I'll, I'll show you real quick. Like we've we've done all this mess with this. If I go to survival, and then I go back to creative. Well, now my happy little guy is gone because it unloaded. It unloaded. And the only way to keep it from doing that, let's go ahead and put the schematic back down. Load schematic, we want a cheesy. Load. Okay, we put it back down. We have to disconnect entirely. So I disconnect entirely, log back in. Oh, wait, I just realized I need to. Oh, there's music playing. Let me go turn that off real quick. Okay. Uh, there we go. Because there's some things I gotta do to be a sneaky partner. Okay, alright. Uh, back to Minecraft. Okay. All right, and now Cheesy Ratty is there. Cheesy Ratty is there to stay. And the other thing that it forgot was that I had uh, hidden all these other schematics. So, if you have been running into the problem where every time you've like done something, especially switching between creative and the main world, every time you switch between the two, it drops off, just disconnect real quick, reconnect, and they'll save everything you've done, and then you can go back to survival. Yes, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. I've not figured out any other workaround. I am working on trying to figure it out because it is annoying as all get out, but at least we figured out what the issue is and a temp fix for it, right? Okay. All right. So let's, uh, let's for fun and giggles. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to remove all the... I don't want all these. Oh, target placement is not currently selected. Here's another interesting thing. Okay. Uh, what it's telling me is that the, the last schematic I was working with isn't this one. Which is really good because it's keeping you from accidentally editing every schematic in your game. Like every schematic you've loaded ever. That would suck, right? That would be terrible. To, to fix that, you go to your schematic placements. Okay, see how this is highlighted here? I'm going to highlight Creative Dead Redstone. And now I should be able to go and say, uh, we don't want none of this diorite. Go away. And we probably don't want none of this stone either. Go away. And you know what? Get rid of that granite. I'm going to get rid of that dirt. And, and you're pretty annoying too, and you're so annoying, and what else can I reach? You're annoying, and you're annoying. All right, there. It's, it's not perfect, but it is cleaner. Hey, hey, with the lurking taco kitty. You'll notice that a lot of the um, redstone is orange because of the state. You can, you can tell the state that something's supposed to be by pointing at it with your... I'm going to turn that back off so it doesn't annoy me. 
pointing at it with your cursor and then looking in the upper right hand. The top portion will explain what the state of the schematic says, and then the bottom portion will say what the state of the client says. So in this case, the schematic says it's supposed to have a power of 11. The client has a power of 0. So far, I haven't figured out why. There's something wrong in there. I haven't worked it out. I'm not a, I'm not a redstone expert. Um, let's come down here. This, this one's fun to do because uh, these will change states as, oop, as the button goes through. See, as the redstone does its thing, it makes the states of the stuff change. Maybe I'm just a big nerd. I, I find this, I find this entertaining. There you go. And it also tells me that the note block is uh, eight. So like if I accidentally got rid of the block and I had to put a new one back and now it's at zero, I've got to hit it until it hits to eight. There we go. Now it's happy. Now it's a happy schematic camper. Right, right. Okay, what else? What else we got on my little list of things here? We did layer modes. Um, this is an interesting one that I use because I sometimes I have hand stutters and my hand will uh, go to put something down a little more often. Let me do like this, like. And I'll accidentally put an extra one and I gotta get rid of it. Um, and if I was like going along putting down all these and then I went to go put red wool and I didn't want to accidentally put red wool into the wrong block, um, there is a option called, let me see if I find it. Place is that uh... ah here it is restriction placement restriction means that it will physically keep you from putting like I've put it on now it will not allow me to put red wool down where this yellow wool is meant to be like it just won't do it it won't let me put it down here where this cobble is meant to be it tells me action prevented you gotta turn it to yellow. I put red up. Nope, it won't let me do it. It won't let me do it. It's it's different from easy place in that um, it doesn't automatically choose. I like guess you're going along with easy place. You just right click and the game the um, the model automatically pull yellow. Like if I were doing like this, it would pull yellow from creative and put it down there. And it also doesn't put things in thin air. Like, it's not letting me put this red down, because there's nothing under the red right now. Like, if I put the cobble down first, then I could put the red. But if there's no cobble, it won't let me put the red. Easy place would let me put it in thin air. I can put it braced off of that one, because that's okay. Like that. But as you can see, it won't let me do it off at thin air. It will let me do it if there's something on there. So you do kind of have to still be in position. And you do still have to have like the proper uh, supporting blocks for things. Now one problem with it is that if you're not in the schematic, it's it doesn't care. I'm not sure how wide that goes because like it's, it doesn't care here. But it cares here, which is weird, right? And also, uh, let me turn it off real quick, just so I could uh, grab barrel, because this is another thing that you know I've noticed that can be annoying. So we got put our barrels in place, right? Pop, 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 and. If the restriction is on, you go to open a barrel, well, it tells you, oh, you can't do that because uh, it's it's dumb and doesn't understand that you just want to open the barrel to get inside of it. 
also, uh, is there a, there's a cobble down there. Okay, let's put a piece of cobble down there. It doesn't care about positioning. Like, it'll still let you put something in the wrong position. So it's not like easy place and where it basically does the job for you. All it does is it keeps you from doing too much. Which is great for people like me with uh, coordination issues. All right, what else do we have to cover? I did materialist, I did missing blocks, I did replacing blocks, I did keybinds, I did layer modes. Um, I did my recommendations for changing the tool. Let's find a cute schematic. Let's look at one of my cute schematics here. Uh, atrium roof. Some of these things I'm looking at, I'm like, what the heck? Uh, I got a dance floor, got my DSS, DS shop. Oh, um... Do I have pie shop in here? Yep, I got the pie shop. Okay, let's 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 do the pie shop. I'm currently in all below layer mode. Now the pie shop is there. We go. Hey y'all, Mello. Um, the pie shop is the very first shop I ever had on, oh, I need to, okay, my game's getting real laggy because it's also doing, and remember what I said earlier about how you have to remember to set it to all before you go deleting things? Yeah, see, all those layers did not have the, the stuff deleted from it. So, um, let's go back and hide all of these. We'll leave, we'll leave the uh, mousey on. Like, the rest of these shouldn't matter because that's all in survival, but just in case. Oops, don't turn it on. Turn it off. Okay, we'll leave, we'll leave Ratty up. Um, but yeah, this is, this is my pie shop. This was the very first shop I ever had on, um, the worst pies in Togethercraft now open. Mizar's Pie Shop Food and Sundries, established 11-21-21, owner, SDR. Yep, it was my cute little pie shop. And you could, you could, uh, get all the pies you wanted, and it totally, it totally wasn't a sus location at all. Not sus at all, nope. There was nothing sus going on inside this shop. Nothing sus in the light, least. But this is an example of, I took a schematic of an existing build. I needed to make sure I got as much of it as possible. So I went all the way down in the bottom and grabbed it. And it, this is also a good example of, um, the game isn't great about uh, picture frames. Because if we look at the material list for this, uh, I don't think there's any picture frames. Or item frames, I guess. Do it by name. Yeah, yeah, there's no listed item frames. These things don't show uh, entities. An item frame is considered an entity. If there were minecarts in here, it would not show them on the material list. It shows them in the schematic. It shows them just fine in the schematic. But it does not show them in the material list. So keep that in mind. If you're grabbing a material list, there might be entities in there. Like in the schematic for this, there's uh, mine carts on a bunch of these things. Like every time you see one of these places, there's a mine cart sitting on top of the hopper, which you can't see. Or maybe it's here. Wherever the minecart is, you can't see it because uh, the schematic does not render render entities, or it doesn't. You, you can't see it on the materialist because the 
schematic does not render entities. Uh, something else that's neat is it will render in creatures. Like, you know what? I'm going, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to load this up. We're going to be trying to figure out where exactly I want to be. I think, I think here. Um, let's go back and enable a creative den redstone. Okay, so. Oop. Nope, that's definitely not where I want to be. Ooh, hello. Goodness gracious, I'm getting lost and I, it's not even an actual unit. Is this where? No. Where am I going? I'm lost in the own maze of my bringing. Is this? Might help if I can figure out where the front of it is. Ah, okay. Alright, so you come in here, right? You go through, oh, you go up here. It'll render entities. It'll render these skeletons. Or these wither skeletons. It'll render them in there. But, it won't actually, please remove pants before playing. Okay. Um, it won't actually show those things on your material list. So, keep that in mind. And sometimes things show up weird, like they show up in the position that they are actually in and the, that they should be in are not the same. Uh, some things might show up properly loaded with what they need to be loaded with. Sometimes they won't. Schematics are not 100% foolproof when you go and you grab them. So, but yeah, that's what's going on there. I'm going to turn that back off because that's big enough that it really makes things crazy. Uh, like that. Okay. All right. You know what I'm going to do real quick? I'm going to go into a creative world of my own because I need to do a couple of things that I cannot do here on the Together Craft server. I'm just going to make a, a basically a void world. It'll be a giant flat world. It'll be just like creative. But I, because there's a couple of features I want to show you guys that I can't show you right now because it's not something um, like I, in order to set it up, I can't do it here on this server. So um, we're going to go uh, back, single player, create new world, more. I'm turning off fire tri tick. Um, update fire. We're turning off time of day too. Um, turning off weather because that's all we need. Uh, the world itself. We're gonna do super flat, customize. You know what? That's fine. Uh, you know what else? Uh, put on creative, difficult, and peaceful. Uh, TC tester. Okay, create new world. Alright, so here we have our big, gigantic, super flat, giant, ginormous world, right? Uh, there are some things loaded because, well, Light Matic is just silly like that. Alright, so what I'm going to do, and drop down, we're going to ignore those animals over there. I'm going to load in one of the more massive schematics I have. Uh, and spawn. There we go. This is the one. Anytime you hear me talking about the schematic that has millions of... Uh, end rods. This is the one I'm talking about. Um, we're going to put it into all. 
We're going to give it a second because it's going to freak out my game. And then we're going to... What the heck is that? Oh, you know what those are? That's from when I loaded this world in previously. Yeah, these are these are entities that it has saved, but they don't actually exist. Yeah. Yeah, silly axes. Alright. Well, as you load the game in, it does. It freaks out a lot. Oh look, there's a there's a town down there. But yeah, this this is the build that I'm talking about when I say I'm going to, you know, I've got a build that requires like, you know, a million end rods. Uh why why are there gaps in this glass? There we go. I don't know why there's gaps in the glass. That could be a problem for later. Okay, anyway. So, first things first, we're going to get an arrow out. Nope, that's not what I want. Shot, there we go. That's what I want. And we're going to go to, uh, I want paste, paste schematic in the world, right? And... Again, this is something that you have to do in a world that you have your actual, like, full creative admin mode. You cannot do this on TogetherCraft. Y yeah, yeah. It's someone that has definitely no chill of uh, paste. Nope. Uh, schematic. I'm, I'm double-checking schematic... What, what do I need to do? Is it, uh, fill? Nope. I don't do this very often, but I think it's, uh, schematic edit. I don't know. Hold on. Okay. All right. So, Maybe I just right click. Oh no, okay, so the right click is how you move it. Remember what I said one time about locking it? We're gonna lock it real quick. No, I don't like building pain. What are you talking about? Okay, all right, so we got that. We got schematic paint in the world. Um, can I go out? Yeah, yeah, okay. Is it left click? The placement is locked and can't be modified. Okay, all right. Is it the insert key? Oh, there we go. You just hit the insert key. And now it's loading everything in, right? And see how it's going crazy in the ticker? All right, I'll make sure I put the VOD up. Have fun adulting, Labby. Um... But yeah, so it, it was ticking down in the in the bottom uh, right hand corner, and it tells me that currently it has uh, three thousand five hundred fifty one chunks remaining, because it can only do as much as it can render in, which is where I'm standing. So now I have to kind of fly around to load in more stuff and freak my game out a whole lot, because here I am trying to stream and do all this heavy lifting at the same time, right? And the game is not happy with all this, so I'm just going to kind of chill for a hot second. Can I go through here? Gah! Maybe I shouldn't have done one quite so big. I could have done the marionette. The marionette's only about half the size, but I, I, I 
sort of want the marionette to be a bit more of a surprise when I get done with it. I mean, I keep showing the preview off, yeah, but it's also, that's kind of different. Anyone got any questions about anything else while I'm sitting here making my computer chug? Because th there will be a couple other things that I'll show you as we, um, after, after I get done loading all of this, right? There'll be a couple other things I need to show. Okay, so we're, we're getting close. Like, it's getting to the point where there's less stuff to render in. It's just loading these huge chunks along the sides. Right? What's over here? Is this another axi? Is this another axolotl? It's a singular stone block all by itself. All by itself. You see where it's starting to load in things that weren't loaded yet? When we get to this far corner, we'll take a flyover with the next side. This particular bill is like way on the back burner. It's going to be a while before I get around to doing this build. I tell you. I guarantee you. And not just because it's a super massive build. I do have all the materials pulled together. Shout out to Pinkie Pie for uh, doing that job for me. Um... But it's because Rocket's probably going to kill me for taking up this much space in the end. Yeah, we freaked out the game so much that it was just like, nah fam, I can't even, I'm just going to, I'm just going to chill here for a second. Okay, okay, we're almost done. We've got 400. Now, part of the reason why I'm doing this is this particular flying over effect to get to fill in the schematic job is something that you also have to do when you have a really, really big schematic and you're trying to do a verifier on it. Because otherwise the schematic will just not, it, it, it won't be able to check everything so you, then you have to kind of use the x and y now i can see based off the coordinates that i got to fly more in this direction gotta fly a little bit more in this direction and you might be noticing that there are things missing, even though it's technically rendered. You might be noticing that you're seeing blue blocks, and I'll explain why you're seeing blue blocks. And this has to do with the difference between building uh, a schematic using uh, a program versus building a schematic using world edit. Let's see, seven, can I? Okay, I wanna go to 720. So I go here. Good God. This is so. Oh yeah. No, I definitely 100%. If whenever I build this, I'm going to put it as far out in one of the corners as I possibly can. It'll, it'll be one of those things that if someone wants to come see it, Okay, yeah. Now that it's done, the green it green it showed up with green saying schematic is placed in the world. But 
But yeah, this is going to be like in some far flung corner that people have to make a special trip to come see. All right. So now, see all this blue? And the reason why there's all this blue is because these leaves, if you look at the schematic info, it says persistent false. But you put one down, it's persistent true. Persistent false leaves decay. Persistent true do not. If you're using, like if you're not actively placing a, a leaf, like, like I just did using creative, it spawns in the world as a natural persistent false leaf block. So you will find a lot of schematics will freak out about their leaf blocks because you go to put it down and it'll be like, oh no, yeah. Yeah, that is, that is why there is orange. And if you spend enough time watching, they just, they decay over time. That's why we got leaves. That's why some of these are disappearing. Yeah. Um, and that is one of those things that you would want to... And I've done it a couple of times. I just, I haven't actively saved it properly. Um, you would want to go in and replace. It's freaking out. Hold on. Give it a minute. Oh God, did it crash? Did it crash entirely? Nope. It did not. It's still trying. I should have used a smaller schematic. I 100% should have used a smaller schematic. It's thinking really hard about what it wants to do right now. <laughs> but I wanted, okay, I, I needed a schematic that I knew would be so big I would have to fly around to render it all in and this was the first one that came to mind because I knew for a fact it would be big enough to need that right there we go okay it's starting to it's starting to do stuff maybe Maybe I'm just losing the other leaves that are actually in there. We'll give it a minute. So how are you guys? Let me let me crack my beverage while we're sitting here waiting for my game to stop panicking. One of the biggest issues I have uh, converting other people's schematics into things that I use is what about the one we are building um oh yeah I totally could have done that one I think I've just broken this world though yeah I think I just <laughs> do I need to reload minecraft altogether uh, yeah, I might need to reload Minecraft altogether. <laughs> RP my computer. Game nothing. Okay, alright. Okay, let's... Let's escape and try and back out of it. We'll just make a whole new world. A whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. Oh, it crashed! <laughs> it did totally just say, screw you, we're done. Alright. Hey, shout out to Waltz for the lovely, lovely artwork. 
that, my friends, is a uh, view of me just reclining in my favorite form of scaffolding uh, over the marionette build, which of course is only partially built. Okay, now excuse me while I uh, resize so that it doesn't look so wonky. Oh, oh, was that also a problem? No, no, we don't want to recover that travesty. Uh, single player, do not record my single player. We're going to create an all new world. Uh, TC tester. To, uh, we're going to put it into creative, difficulty peaceful, more game rules. You know what? Trying to find, okay, we don't want that, that, or that. Done. Uh, type, oh, generate structures. We don't want the villages. Uh, type world, super flat. Um, create world. Okay, alright. We're immediately gonna go in here. We're gonna find, uh, pearl. Here's the deep slated... Okay, all right. So this is the... Oh, look, we got a herd of horses already. Uh, this is the current build that uh, Ducky and I are working on for the end portal marker. For, um, what you call it? The Blossom Hill end portal. And what I'm going to do is we're going to freak out the game again! Uh, powder. There we go. Put it back to five. And, uh, enter. Oh, oh, that's right. I just hit the insert button. Look at all those chunks. All right. It is not so big that the whole thing couldn't render at once. However, you do already see where the leaves are starting to decay because they are not persistent leaves. Right? So what we want to do is we want to go back to edit the schematic. Um, I want to say, is it this one? Have I just made the game upset again? The game seems to be upset again, guys. Oh! Uh-oh. Okay, I understand what happened now. It's filling the entire area with the blocks. Now I know why it was so upset before. <laughs> This is not what I wanted. Is it going to crash again? Please don't crash again. <laughs> okay, alright. Uh... I'm not a professional. I never claim to be. I'm not an expert. Never claim to be that either. Are we... Are we done panicking? Nope, we're not done panicking in the game. I, 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 I don't know, folks. <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, it did it did change them to true though. Cause you can see up in the um up in the corner it says persistent true. <laughs> This is a travesty. I'm so embarrassed. I'll log out early. Nope. You know what the upside is? Am I okay? It's still it's still Every time I think it's done. Uh, yeah. Now, this does explain why the previous game crashed. This 100% explains it. Ooh, you know what I wonder? Does the replay mod show late Medica? Nope. Okay. I thought it was done. It's not done. So how are you guys? Did anyone have anything good for lunch? I had a slice of leftover pizza. It was okay. I thought about having some ramen. But then I was excited about getting ready for this and forgot. And I say I had a slice of leftover pizza for lunch. I mean, I had it at about 10.30 when I was getting ready to eat. You know, or get, getting ready to come into my room to get ready for everything. And I had a cup of coffee, and I heated up a slice of pizza, and I ate it then. And then around 12.30, which is normally my lunchtime now that I do daytime streams, and I take the break at 12.30, um... I thought about going and making some ramen. I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready for the, the stream now. I can wait. And the trap there is that my brain still sometimes thinks I end at 2.30. I'm playing hardcore and I feel like I've been spoiled in survival with all the super duper crates. <laughs> oh, are you playing hardcore um, together craft? On TC, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are also crates there. Yay! Okay, we're going to go to the loaded schematics. We're going to reload this sucker just as soon as the game stops freaking out on me. Uh, reload. 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 Get rid of all these leaves, please. And see how it says this can be useful if you make a mistake on the schematic edit mode? Yeah, go away. Ha 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 ha. All right. Um, yeah, I, the, the stuff in the crate isn't game breaking and you only have it for the season, but I do like kind of starting out the season by getting a few of the things to help everybody out with. What is, is that a bird? Oh, that's a bat. It's one of my pickle bats. Okay. All right. Let's, um, try this again. This time I did a right click instead of a left click. I think it's still, yeah, no. Nah. don't understand why it's doing this. <laughs> I know every season my goal is to get an unbreakable shield and bow out of that crate. I got, yeah, the armor's great, but the, the main goals for me are that shield and that bow. 
and everything else is just kind of like bonus. I do love the hardcore mode. I was so, so mad this past season. Like, I was actively in chat with some of the other mods when um, I was in the nether. I was digging up soul sand for Gearbo. And I didn't even hear the gas until after the ball hit me. And I was flung off the edge of the cliff. And because I'm a shield person, I had my shield and not the, the gifted totem of undying that Rocket gave to everybody at the beginning. Because in hardcore, you do have to have the totem of undying in your offhand for it to work. And this was like... <laughs> Ah, Mallow. Just rub that salt right in that wound, why don't you? Get some lemon juice to go with it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but it was only like three or four hours into the launch. It was, yeah, it was like first day. And I went real quiet. And then I just logged off to Gethercraft for the rest of the night. Because I was like, I can't right now. Hardcore is one of my favorite all-time modes. And I... Yeah. It was, it was, it was... Ah! Game! Open up! We're going to figure this out. I know there is a way to do this. I have done this before. Heck, I was just doing this earlier. I had just shown everyone how to do this. This is so embarrassing. I'm realizing now. I showed you all how to do this. Because remember I was switching out the, the cobble with the grass? Are you ready for me to do things now, game? Come on, load my menu. Please, load my menu. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Almost there. Reload. Everything go away. No, if you want to see sad, you should go into I'm trying to remember which hardcore channel. It might just be the general hardcore channel. Um I was I was totally getting ready to like this season was going to be all about lore for me. I had like a whole like not script planned out, but like a whole kind of like outline planned out on things that was going to be going on. Um I had started with like a prologue of me escaping from the city as it was being attacked because I don't know if you knew that like there was kind of a roleplay-esque opening scene that Rocket had uh, posted which was the the main city got attacked by a giant dragon and destroyed and we had all scattered to try and make our way in the world you know to escape the, this terrible terrible dragon that had destroyed our wonderful city so I had written kind of a little prologue thing in that, and I was ready. I was ready. I had things. I had plans. And then I died, and I wrote my death scene and posted that. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. Okay. I don't know why I was messing with that insert key. It wasn't the insert key at all. It was the end key. Or the delete key. I'm sorry. I was messing with the delete key. Alright. And now, now they're all, uh, oops. Need to turn that back off. Now they're happy. Yay. Alright. Yeah, when it's all done... going on up here oh I know what's going on up here these haven't had a chance to decay yet 
That's why these ones are orange now. But anywho, once it's all said and done, she's got a little ice flower. That'll be what you see when you come to uh, the Blossom Hill End Portal from the surface. And you can already see the base. Like, we are, we are a good portion into the base. And Ducky has done a fantastic job. Everywhere that you see stuff that isn't green or gray, that's Ducky. That's all Ducky's work. Like, Ducky's built several of these flowery things, and there's like little blobs, little, little white ones, and yeah, that, that's all been Ducky. Because I am a huge slacker, and I've not been doing any of that. Does anyone have any other questions before I go back to Together Craft and just do it for real now? Because I can totally just go build and answer more questions as we build. I think, I think I got load that back in now. I can do this, I can do this, schematic verify, step verification. Okay, well that didn't do exactly what I had wanted it to do, which is fine. Uh, wrong states, these oak leaves and those oak leaves, and then this one's missing oak leaves. You can see where those are. And those and those. Okay. Alright, so you can see over here there's some missing leaves. Not sure why they're missing. But I can't place them because there's nothing to place them against. And actually, there we go. You notice when I when I put it in place on the schematic verifier, it disappears. Like if I come over to here, the missing ones disappear. I wonder what I could do. I could turn easy place on, but being a lazy butt. Okay, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go all the way over here. Oh, okay, okay, this is this is what I could do. Or is it? Test manager? Yeah, okay. So, say you've done all that, and you go, you know what? I don't, I don't actually care. I don't actually care. I don't need to see all those. I don't know, need to know. But I want to get rid of those numbers and things. If you ever notice that you have a bunch of weird numbers in the lower right-hand corner, Go to the task manager and remove it. And boof. That should... That lied to me. I removed that task. Reset data. There we go. Okay. Um, let's do something else. I'm going to go far, far away. Or far-ish away. Like if I'm in, I'm in, I'm in another part of the world. Let's say I'm in another part of the world. Uh, TPP OS TP SDR 2000 200 2000. There we go. All right. 
So we're we're far far away, right? We're so far away, and I'm I'm so far away, and I'm messing with another schematic, and I don't realize that I'm in this schematic, and I hit materialist, and I hit refresh, and it says schedule test scattered, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm like, oh crap, I picked the wrong thing. Well, what am I gonna do now? My options are I could just fly all the way over there to get the task to finish, or I do what I did here and I remove these and poof, they're gone. Just like that. Nine times out of ten, removing the list will, or removing the job will uh, take care of your issue. Hello. How do you have the same health as your family? I'll spare your life. I lied. Okay, anyway, alright. I'm done. I'm done messing around here. We're gonna go play on Together Craft. I'm gonna BRB it for a hot second. You can still hear me though. I can still talk to you because I don't have the music loaded. Survival, survival. Gotta be on the survival. Ooh, a wand. I don't know why Rocket wants a wand. Okay, alright. Uh, Minecraft. You know what? We aren't actually in creative, we're in survival. There we go. And because of the messing around we were doing in creative, my... Okay, all below... Why are, oh, that's right. I disabled this one. Okay, this is... We can remove those. Uh, here we go. On. Right? And then show it. Nope, that's right. That's wrong. What? 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 Oh, here we are. There we go! Yay! Okay, we're in the right place now. Okay, alright. Now we are back to here. Ah! <sighs> back to life. Back to reality. Oh, if you need... Andesite, my good duckle? I have so much andesite. Wait, that's that's gravel. Why is there gravel in here? Did somebody give me gravel by accident? Not that I I'm I'm not, you know, exceptionally grateful for everything that everybody gave me the other day, but I don't have much use for gravel on this build. It's fine. Here, here's, a, here's a secret. If you ever have a bunch of materials that you're just looking to get rid of, make a quick, you know, make some quick diamonds or whatever, hit me up. I will buy just about anything because at some point I am going to need it. At some point, I will 100% need every buildable block in existence in excess. Like, lots and lots and lots of it. Because I have no chill. You guys saw. Is... Oh, bear's active. I can't. I can't say my super secret uh, Beverly Hills build plan because he might be listening. I can come raid your storage room. I appreciate the offer. 
It's not like we're not next door neighbors. Good lord, what was that voice that I just did? Jeez. It's like I know you can't see me from here. Like, you know, from your base you can't see me all the way over here, but you know, it is kind of a funny thought to think that you look out your look out your window and you just see this monstrosity going up. And this is a result of me inheriting a end portal near Blossom Hill. Where is my actual base? My actual base is officially in sci-fi. I am sci-fi for life. And that is where my main base is. And I'm pretty close to done with the main dome. If by pretty close, you, I mean, you know, more than half. But I still have several hundred thousand blocks of glass to place. If you look at the sci-fi hub and then you head east, that big circle on the coast is me. And that is where I keep, like, my general storage. I have moved, like, I'm, I'm preparing for a build. And usually by preparing for a build, I mean I'm paying somebody, I'm handing somebody a material list and saying, hey, go get me everything that's on here and put it into a centralized location where it is ready to go when I'm ready to build it. Um then that sort of thing gets stored at the labyrinth. And the labyrinth is over... Technically you take the Puddington portal for that, but it's probably just as close to Northridge. But yeah, because I have literal barrels on barrels of some materials, just from all the digging that I do. And my, my main mistake for this particular build was when I hired a CK to gather everything for it, I told them not to worry about getting deep slate or andesite together because I had plenty and I forgot that I actually use andesite fairly often so I didn't really have plenty which was what prompted my emergency oh my god guys I need andesite yesterday And I did just bring like 26 shulkers over here the other day. Ducky can confirm. But I don't know. I guess like I'm eating it in my sleep or something. Or maybe I'm just hecka blind and completely missed. Because Ducky was kind enough to organize everything. But of course, yeah, they went, they went fast. Um, however... Since we are talking, actually, let me let me make sure I'm highlighting the proper one. There we go. Uh, materialist refresh. 
What do you mean to schedule test added? I'm standing right here. Oh, okay. It's because there's a sh smaller render distance on the server. Okay, alright, so I need to like come this way. I only have one rocket in my inventory, and I'm too lazy to open up my P Vault to get more rockets out. So I'm like definitely just walking around for everything right now. Like a weirdo. I'm embracing my old no wings life. Which way am I? Am I going the right way to get this rendered? Nope, now I need to go this way. You know what? Do I not have... Oh. Okay, so this, this is leaves. We're going to put those in there. We're going to get some leaves out. We're going to get those leaves out. We're going to turn this to that. We're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. We're going to first turn the schematic to everything. Give it a chance to do its thing. Now we're going to replace them all. We're going to go back here. We turn that back off. Okay. All right. We're going to go in here. Wrong thing. Here. Uh, loaded schematics. Converted. Saved a file. Leafies. Um, where am I saving it? You know what? I'll just save it. I'll find it later. I'm not sure where, where that is. It, it's going to unload probably before I get back, but. Why? Why? Huh? Render layers set here. Why are... I mean, okay, you guys are kind of seeing what I'm seeing, right? There's like this thin blue, which means that there's... Huh, weird. Weird! Okay, let's put some of this inside away. So I can put you... Okay. All right. Okay. Um, did the material list finish? Material list. All right. Okay. So, uh, currently says we're missing, yeah, like a shulker and a half to put down. So we're, 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 we're good on andesite now. I would hope. Now we gotta get really on top of it with everything else. Okay. P weather clear. I mean, that might have been what it was. Is I I was just a couple shulkers short. But because it's between the two of us. And maybe I just miscounted how many I was bringing in. I think that's where they all disappeared out to. We do have a lot to... Wait, wait, why are you... Oh, okay. I don't have any... My face! I managed not to smoosh my face. There we go.
Yeah, and I'll, I will, because I don't want anyone uh, misinterpreting, I will 100% pay for materials. Like, I'm not asking for donations. I'll be extremely grateful if I get donations, but I have zero problem pay paying for materials. I could easily afford just about anything. Like, I wouldn't be able to afford building this entire thing out of netherite blocks, but... You know what I mean. After a certain point, the volume of stuff, it's just like, it's easier to just pay for it. Pinky made a full-on Horus fruit farm just ooh, nice just to be able to get me all the end rods that I need for that eventual end build and here's here's the thing about that end build right the original designer designed it as a like Designed it for where the end portal is in the end. Like, it designed it for the main island. So, the area around it is meant to be the empty void area. Like, basically, it's, it's meant to be a um, spawn. It's meant to be the end of spawn. Um... I don't know if they did it for fun, if they, you know, it, it's on uh, Planet Minecraft. Um, but obviously we have a very lovely end spot. And I would never presume, and we wouldn't want to steal somebody else's end spot anyway, right? So when I make it, it's not going to be an end spawn. It's going to be just, you know, an end area. But I'll have to go and clear out a number of end islands to make room for it. There's a lot of black glass, black stained glass, that is meant to be a circular platform at the bottom of the world. you know, right right before you can no longer build. Um, and I'm going to build it. Like with the marionette, there was a very similar layer of glass at the bottom of it that I opted not to build because I'm like, you know, don't really need it in the overworld, I'm building it over water anyway. You know, whatever. But in the end, I think it'll be nice to have, and I'm going to do it first, it'll be nice to have kind of a fail-safe to where if I fall off while building and die, I'm not going to lose all of whatever I'm wearing at the time. Right? I mean, I'll still fall off and die, but... At least everything will hit the platform instead of dropping off into the void. And that'll be nice for anyone else, too. So when I get started, before I clear out end islands, before I do anything, I gotta get down to the bottom of the world and build a big old giant glass platform. And then I got to clear end islands. Keys. 
keys. So many keys. I had to, I had to read chat for a quick second because I'm like, wait a minute, did we all get keys? Because my inventory's been pretty full. You know what's funny? I use the near command a lot to see if Ducky's lurking nearby when I'm building. Ducky can't do the same for me. Yes, I'm a sneaky mod. Okay, alright, do we got... I think that's it for that layer. Except for like, oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, boop. Oh. <laughs> okay. Leafs go in there. Wool comes out. There. Alright. Now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're cooking with cooking. Oh. Um, I'm not gonna worry about you. I'm not gonna worry about you. Let's do the grays, since I got them all in my inventory right now. And the main reason I'm doing this instead of the marionette right now is because I needed a break from the marionette. I needed something that I could do. No, I needed a break from my dome. And then I needed something I could do off stream, because, you know, that whole promise about the marionette. Uh... How I'd only do the marionette on stream. So I decided to start doing this. But now that I've started building this, I kind of feel like I should finish it because this is actively in an area where people are or could be. And I don't want to leave an eyesore near Mallory's place on the map. I don't, no, that's not Mallor's place. I'm not even sure what that is. Hee 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 hee. That was the last. It's definitely bigger than that. Okay. But yeah, the rule is that you can build anywhere you want, whatever you want, provided you're not leaving half finished builds all over the place. So, I wanted to complete this before I go back to the marionette. Like, the majority of the builds that I have done, even if they're not done done, like there's nothing inside of them, they're complete from the exterior. And the marionette is so far out that it's not that big a deal. It's not an eyesore. You really gotta go out of your way to get out there. But I will return to the marionette, I promise. Okay, let's put the grays away, and we'll get that green and that green. Okay, we'll leave that, we'll leave that. I think we'll do you. We'll leave that, okay, all right. Some leaps out. Pop. 
Okay. Bop, 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 ring. I did discover with Elder Scrolls Online, so I was talking about how there's an achievement they're going to be releasing next month that's going to be attached with a, a skin that you can get. And like it's low key now a goal of mine to get that achievement. And it's basically just completing a bunch of different quests. I did find an easy way to keep track of those quests, so. I am playing a lot off stream. Which is fine. Tonight's Oblivion. Tonight we will be playing some Oblivion. Which I have played and completed 100%ed before, but it has been a hot minute. Tonight for dinner, it's enchiladas. Mumsy is making enchiladas. We alternate Fridays. Uh, every other Friday is, uh, we call it Mexican night, but you know, it's pretty much any Hispanic themed meal. And then the other half is, um, Breakfast. Breakfast for dinner. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah, I knew that was coming eventually. Get some leaves out. Get out, leaves! We don't want you here! Gosh! Let's put all these greens away in there. Well, greens and, yeah. Deep slate, because the deep slate always comes up on the edges. What? I'm nervous now. Why are you eyeballing? Did you just get enough pickles for something? Do I need to brace myself for incoming?
I got my eyes on you, duck. There'll be two burbs on staff. I don't know if I could survive. Oh, out of stone? Out of stone. That's fine. I guess I'll, I'll use the other stuff that I have on me at the moment. Pretty sure I get stone in my P-Vault, but you know, lazy. I had actually forgotten for a moment that staff applications were open again. Fresh meat! Sounds like Sandy's having a party. Everyone needs to make sure they go give Sandy his birthday spankings. I know he runs around with PvP off or on. Okay, and decide. And the site two, three, four. Why does Triv need a new keyboard? What's wrong with Triv's keyboard? Okay, all right. Uh, PV9, is there any stone in here? Stone? Stone? Stony stone? Oh, I forgot movie night is tonight. I had a moment of, what the heck is that? It just popped up on my screen. It's Friday. There shouldn't be anything popping up on my screen. Oh, it's movie night. to see a movie night. Aha! I knew I had stone somewhere. Hi 
There we are. All right, let's uh, pop back up to do some stonery. My ultimate goal is to get this side covered because I got the other two completely covered. Now we just get these covered and this is actually the Legos of the Lady. And I've rotated the entire build where it's facing towards the hub. So if you were coming from the hub and flying in this direction, you would... <laughs> oh, excuse me be able to see it. I feel like there's something I forgot to talk about with Light Matica. Ew. Oh, you're gonna miss the event tomorrow. Gross. I forget what the events are. Let me go look up the events real quick. <clears throat> okay, time is still ticking. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Do, 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 do. Events. Uh, I do gotta check something. Okay, alright. That's good, that's good. Events. Uh, Saturday chicken run. Oh, God. I think we need to lead chickens. And if that's what that is, I might skip it. And then Sunday is going to be protect some villagers. Sweet. You know what would help if I, oops, did that. Okay. Now I think the thing that gets, actually no, because there has been a couple of times where after I've gone to close everything out, it is still locked up. Okay, I was about to say... Um, that we haven't had an issue with my stream software locking and me not being able to change um, screens. We have had, I have, well, I have had an issue of as soon as I changed the screens and muted everything, it locked and I couldn't end the stream. Like, I couldn't hit the end stream button, but that's like, you know, I just turn it off at that point. No one's any of the wiser. I hear you, piggy. Piggy. Piggy, piggy.
Do 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 do. Who else had a whole lot of fun with the uh, fuel event last week? The the uh, fuel rods, having to collect them all. I enjoyed that. That was nice. I like the ones where we work together. So we are together, craft after all. Although the real trick for that one was getting to the water reservoir first. Because otherwise, if you got there later, then you were just following behind other people who had already looted the reservoir. And then you felt like you were finding nothing. And I can see where that would be frustrating. I get a feeling that a couple of the people who said they didn't find any rods at all is because they came in the reservoir late. I mean, I think I found about half a stack myself. I think next time there's an event like that, I might leave the earlier things I find and then be like, It's all good. I got boop, boop, boop. I did need one more that wasn't deep snake at it. skipping some things on the edges because I have to skip somewhere and it's like it's just as easy to skip there for now so right now the main goal is getting everything covered and it's like I can always come back in later what movie wound up winning anyone know I know I was just in the events channel looking but I didn't I wasn't looking for the movie I know when I voted, Moana was winning. I hope Moana won. If Moana won, I'll definitely be watching. Because what can I say except you're welcome? Okay, I'll go look for myself. I, robot? No, I'm good. I'm good. I appreciate it, though. I'm not leaving. Still got 30 minutes. I meant I was going to go look and see what the, uh, the movie is. Unless you really want me to go. Is that it? You want me to leave? You don't want me to be here no more? Has anyone else gotten their leet drops? I'm curious. I 
because I know I have drops enabled. Ba, 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 ba. Maybe Ducky was saying they had to go. Because, like, I read Ducky's message to mean they had that tomorrow. But I guess that could also be read is the gala is tomorrow and the rehearsal is today at four. In which case, amazing ducks. that and good lord how many more layers up do I need to go one two three 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 more layers okay right four nope four four layers a lot of layers a lot of layers to go good lord Gross. I'm gonna go make some, heat up some more pizza. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I, Robot is a bad movie. I just didn't enjoy it. Wait, 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 wait. I just missed that one little one, okay. Oh, I miss you. Okay, all right. Oh, hello. And I can actually take him now, because I did, in fact, get my brain weasel med prescription refilled. So now I have happy little brain weasels. Well, Less active little brain weasels, I should say. I'm not gonna say happy. They're just less active. Okay, let's see. 
try to figure out. I did get paid. I got paid. I'm down to 60% now. So. It was a little bit. I need to go check. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, there's some things I gotta check on. Um. Let's get the aim sight. I'm gonna put the... No, no, we're gonna hold a little bit of stone out in case I run into a need for some stone. Like I missed a couple of bits somewhere. Got my appointment Thursday. I need to remember to turn in my internet equipment. I always vote when I'm online so I can see if it worked or not. I'm at the, oh, I got 701 point votes. Kind of at the point where it's like, I'm not worried if it works or not. It's not like I need the votes. Oh, nope. We were going to do grays first. Oh, 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 this is good. This is good. I think this section's practically done. All right. Uh, we're going to put the grays away. We're going to get you guys out. We're going to put you and you. All right. We just got this little blip here. Here. You know what? I think once we finish putting down these greens, I'm just gonna go straight into covering that little blip. Then we should be done with this corner, right? Okay, all right. Um, oh, we got this section over here. Okay. Up. Okay. All right, so we got all these, and then we're going to go up one. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to worry about that. I just want to get this little patch of gray covered. That covers all that gray, right? Get that piece of dirt covered. There we go. All right, right. We got it, we got it. Oh, that's green. Wait, what's that? Okay, all right, let's go back over to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Break away, break away. Okay, okay. I 
don't forget, we got Oblivion tonight. Which is Elder Scrolls 4. Are you... No, I don't. I can, I can ignore all that over there. I do gotta wait a minute okay what do we have okay we're gonna put frames in here right and then just trying to decrease some of my okay there we go and put more grains in here so that's one empty I can get rid of. All right, close, close enough. Uh, do a couple, wait, oh, might help if I hit the proper key. Kept trying to hit E. Mm. Oh, enchiladas tonight. Mac and cheese with pulled pork tomorrow, which is my baby sister's choice for her birthday dinner. And honestly, the mac and cheese is the main focus. Pulled pork was just kind of a, I guess we need something else to eat type deal. But yeah, I'm going to be eating good for the next couple days. Alright, okay, so I think I mentioned the other day that I was thinking about changing my stream time back to starting at 1. But, see, here's the thing. My brain is weird, right? And it's exceptionally weird when it comes to numbers and like time because this might not make sense, but to my brain, when I have something at 10, I don't feel a real sense of urgency to do anything for it until it's like right on top of 10. Because my head doesn't think it's almost 10 as long as it's 9, right? Well, if, if I have something scheduled for 10... And my brain is thinking it's not that big a deal. I got plenty of time because it's, you know, 10, even though it's like 9.45 right now. You know, that tends to result in me waking up late. Because it was, you know, thinking, oh, well, it's not 10, it's 9. It's okay. I can sleep. I can keep sleeping. This is fine. And it's not fine because it's getting close to 10. But, if it's at like 10.30, my brain doesn't have the same sort of problem. Because the moment it says it's 10, like whether it's 10.30, 10.45, 10.50, whatever, as soon as it, that clock hits the 10, it's like, oh, it's time. 
So even if it means, like if I had something scheduled for 1050, even if it would mean I'm sitting there for an extra 50 minutes, my brain is, wants me to be ready at 10. Because the clock says 10. Does that make sense? I mean, I'm pretty sure it doesn't make sense, but to my brain it does. So, as long as I keep the things at the 30 minute mark, I'm more likely to not be late for them. Oh, hey, we just covered all the gray here. Okay, yes. Yes! Okay, are, are we sure we have covered? Yes. All right, okay. All of that is done so. Excuse me. So now we just have these little blips here in the centers. Right? I'm going to start with the one that... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why are you... Okay, because you need things on top. Okay. Oh! What hit me? Did I just take damage? Weird. The other side of the coin is that lots of people start at 10. But if I start at 10.30, I might get the people we have started somewhere else at 10. And are like, well. Okay, all right, let's put the grains away. Oh, that was a lot of those grains, wasn't it? Like channel surfers. If I start at 10 30, then people who see my thing pop up, even if they're already watching somebody else, might come and watch me. Because they think, oh, hey, yeah, let's go check that out. Or they've seen enough of whatever they're currently watching, they might flip over. Whereas if it's like me and three other people start at 10, then they're making a choice between four people. Whereas if I try to get them to join me at 10.30 and switch, then it's just making a choice between me and someone, one person. And maybe someone they've already been watching for a little while. They just think, oh, hey, yeah, let's go check out what Dee's doing. I mean, I don't mind it when people are, like, watching me and then someone else they also enjoy watching comes on and they go, oh, I'm going to pop over there. I'm like, cool, have fun. I wonder if this is just gonna 
keep sliding to the side because if it is every time it's just going to kind of pop over a little and I don't actively need to worry about the greens and stuff that would be handy Just focus on grays for however long. Of course, I'm not really going to know unless I go to put something down and there's nothing underneath it. When there should be something underneath it, right? Do, do, do. I've got about 10 minutes left. So everyone's got any last minute burning questions about Lightmatica? Hey! Nice! Good luck! Oh! He fell down. He fell down so hard. That's funny. Getting real focused down right now. All right. Ugh.
do 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 eight minutes I'm trying to think oh what might be entertaining to talk about probably going to start new Skyrim tomorrow magic only Burn wants me to suffer. No weapons of any sort. He did say armor, though. Interesting. Pay no attention to the sound of gurgling. It's just my tum tum. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Oh, are is it rotating now? Is that what's happening now? I think that's what's happening now. Is the green portion is starting to rotate so that it's that, got that, got that. Stone. You know, I think on Pearl's work really but I think I might try to redesign the face because that's the only part of this schematic that gives me pause anytime I look at it is how the face looks oh, I can't believe that wool is just right there Okay, all right. Um, hmm. Is there anything? Okay, oh, I know what I could do. I could crawl. Okay, there is another piece of wool right there. Come on, wool. I want wool. There we go. There. I'm gonna crawl here. What is, what are we inside right now? Dirt, okay, all right. I can pull out some dirt.
cut some grass away and pull out some dirt. And there we go. All right. And that's only because I can't really see those items. Now that we've gotten this far, I'd rather not have to deal with the verifier later. Actually, yeah, yeah, I will worry about it. Put the dirt away. Alright, oh, okay. Do that. There we go. And go up another one. What am I in? Andesite, okay. And over here I'm in dirt. And over here I'm in dirt, okay. And there I'm in dirt. Dirt, dirt. Here's dirt. Here's andesite, there's andesite, and then here is cobblestone, and here is dirt. Nope. Dirt. There we go. put any grass down in a hot minute so I think that piece of dirt should be safe from grassage. We're gonna finish this gray and then we're gonna call it because it's like it's 4 30 practically. It'll be 4 30 by the time I finish this gray. Okie dokie artichoke. Can we go like this? We go like that. And I'm starting to think about D and D, and oh, one last little piece of stony. All right, there we go. Um, I had fun today. I had fun today answering people's questions as best I could, and I hope I, you know, did a decent job of it. It will be back tomorrow. Uh, of course, if you have more questions about Lightmatica, you can always hit me up at any time. I'm more than happy to answer them on stream. But um, until next time, SD out. Bye 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 bye.